Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Ron Wong, Bill Cooksey here today, filling in for the one and only Larry Ray. And Bill, I got to tell you, it's just not easy doing it. (laughs) (laughs) He, he's gotten pretty slick at it, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Listen, you know, we, um, we've uh, talked a little bit about uh, the Ducks Unlimited Expo. Then we went to a former Californian. He was an AOI uh, kayak BASS uh, champion. Uh, and then come to find out, our next guest knows him very well. Of course, they probably fished against each other out in California. Uh, our next guest is uh, a BASS Elite Pro, his rookie year, and I had the opportunity to meet him uh, in at Gros Savon there in Texas, uh, I mean Louisiana. Um, I was about to ask about your geography, Ron. Yeah, right. I know you were. I knew you were going to say something uh, <laughs> uh, earlier this year. Uh, our next guest, Brian Smith from Roosevelt, California. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. How are we? Doing great. Doing great. Bill, you see, works for, what is the name of the company that you work the, for? The, the National Wildlife Federation. Yeah. And they do a lot of work uh, along the Louisiana coast to try to pre- build it back up and preserve it. Brian, yeah. you've had a great year. Fishing on the BASS Elite Tour this year as a rookie. And, you know, when I first uh, met you, uh, I think you already had one or two tournaments behind your belt. And you said, well, I'm going to have to tighten up if I'm going to do anything. And, and and here you've had a great season. You've qualified for the Classic. Tell our listeners, what has this year been for you? Man, this year was, it, it was really a dream come true. Um, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to fish uh, professionally and, you know, fish at the top level. You know, I grew up watching, you know, everybody, all the big names, Denny Brower, Tim Van Dam, Ike and Ellie, everybody on TV. And, you know, the goal was always to, or at least the dream was always to get to that level and man to get there and, and kind of get to live that dream out for a year and, and really see what it was all about. Uh, it was, it was more than I could have ever asked for, you know, it, it really was a dream come true for me. And, uh, you know, to have the year that I did have, uh, I think I ended up 13th in points, you know, it, it was really cool to see that I could compete against those guys. Yeah. Because they are, they are truly the best in the world. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when you talk about that, you've got to be so versatile in order to do well, don't you? You really do. Um, especially, yeah, we got nine tournaments, and they are spread all around the country. And, you know, we, you know last year, we, or this year, we started in Florida and then uh, went to South Carolina, Alabama, all the way up north. Uh, New York, uh, where else we go? Michigan. I mean, we were all over the place, and you really have to you have to be confident with pretty much every technique if you want to compete against these guys because they know how to catch a bass, and they know every way you can catch a bass. So if you don't know what you're doing, they're gonna they're really gonna show you that you don't know what they're do- what you're doing. That's right, and you know. Growing up at, or in fishing in where you live in Roosevelt, you're five minutes from Folsom Lake, uh, 20 minutes to the Sacramento River. You're real close to a lot of different fisheries. And, of course, we talked to your buddy Russ Snyder uh, a little bit uh, in the segment before and talking about having all those lakes. That had to help you when you went to uh, the St. Lawrence River and you caught the largest single-day smallmouth catch ever in Bassmaster history, 29 pounds, 5 ounces. How thrilling was that, and how did that all play in together? You know, it's just one of those things where 
you know, coming from the West Coast, we we do have such a versatile kind of group or a diverse group of bodies of water. So you got to be really good with a spinning rod. You got to be really good with a flipping stick. You got to mm-hmm. be really good with pretty much everything if you want to compete out here. And uh, you know, going into that the smallmouth tournaments, especially the St. Lawrence, you know, I was comfortable with a spinning rod in my hand. Uh-huh. Six pound test didn't scare me, uh, and that's you know a lot of our western fishing does involve a lot of light line. So going into that that tournament, um, you know, I never I never really expected to catch that much weight, but you know I was ready when it when it did happen, and um, you know it was uh, it was definitely a testament to where I did did grow up and where I learned how to fish, and you know having confidence in those finesse techniques and that light line. Yeah. Now, Ron, you know, you can't do this without your family, uh, Bailey and Jensen, um, but you also have to have some pretty good sponsors. And, and you know, I met you through a Lose Strike King media camp, but tell our listeners about your sponsors. Man, I got a great group behind me, and uh, they kind of just make, make it easier for me to just kind of not worry about fishing so much. Um, yeah. you know, I get to, or not worry about the, the financial side and everything like that. And I get to worry about fishing, I guess I should say. Um, you know, I have a couple insurance companies, uh, Meridio and Decisely. They, you know, kind of non-endemic companies, but they, they sell insurance. And, you know, if you're a small time business owner or small business owner, you know, that's a perfect fix for that. And then I got a lot of uh, companies in the industry that help me out as well. You know, we got Ranger Boats, Mercury, Striking and Lose, like you said, uh, Power Paul, Lawrence, man, they, uh, the list goes on and on. And, and without those companies behind me, it really makes it a lot more difficult for me. So I, I definitely attest, uh, you know, their help and their support to why I had such a good uh, rookie season this year. Uh, Look, I, Brian, I've got to ask you real quick. Uh, obviously, you've got to be a great fisherman to make the elites, but as you mentioned, you you jump in there, there are a bunch of names you, you've been hearing and maybe maybe don't even know. That's got to be something to overcome. And, and and then just the mindset of going against the best of the best. How do you did you turn that on and do so well your rookie season? I don't know if I, I turned it on so much. And you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That first tournament, it was it was we. I, I'll never forget it. Launching my boat at Lake Okeechobee and, and just kind of I was starstruck. I really was. You know, seeing all these guys that you watch on TV and I grew up listening to and all that stuff. And, and I just kind of took it day by day is all I could really do. And, and um, that was the biggest question mark that I had going into the season was, can I really compete against these guys? And uh, taking it day by day and, you know, cast by cast, fish by fish, just kind of slowing down and, and soaking in the moment. And that is kind of what I think really helped me kind of put it in perspective this year, because if, like I'll, I'll tell any elite series rookie, you know, coming into this, it is a big show, and there is a lot of big names, and uh, it, it, it can be really, really intimidating. But uh, taking it, you know, day by day was definitely definitely helped me kind of put it in perspective. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it takes all of that for sure. Hey, you know, if somebody wants to follow you, uh, Brian, uh, how 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 do they do that? Um, you know, social media, that's the way the world goes this year or this, uh, you know, in this time. And, and, uh, I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Bryant Smith fishing and Facebook as well. Bryant Smith fishing again. Um, those are the best ways to follow along and try to keep them as up to date as possible. And kind of the story of, of being on the elite. And, uh, I, I love doing that. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, Brian, uh, the Bassmaster Classic is Really, just around the corner. Um, are you looking forward to it? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man. That was uh, that was the one goal that I had above everything else going into this season was to make the Bassmaster Classic. And uh, man, the, the fact that I did that is 
is truly a dream come true, and, and I cannot wait to get that started. I know it's a whirlwind of a week, but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I I know we got two events before we get get to Grand Lake, but uh, man, I'm excited to get that thing going. Have you had a chance to practice there on ground before the cutoff? So I'm actually going to go next week. Uh, I'm flying out there for a few days. Going to go ride around, take a look at the lake. I fished there a few times, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, I want to get get some fresh eyes, kind of remind myself of how the place lays out, and uh, start formulating a game plan for that tournament. Yeah, tell our listeners a little bit about your family. Yeah, I got a uh, uh, my wife Bailey and. and uh, oh, I guess it's 14 months now, Jensen. All right. My, uh, my son, yeah, and, uh, you know, they're, they're the whole reason why I do this, you know, it's just to support them, um, and uh, they, they made the world to me. That's awesome. It, it, yeah, yeah, we got, uh, you know, it, it's not it's not a glamorous life uh, being a professional fisherman. You know, I'm gone a lot, and I miss a lot of things, but, uh, yeah. you know, I also, also get to be home quite a bit you yep. know once we got drove home from the last tournament you know i get to be home for five months and i'm pretty much going to be here every day with him so right uh, nice. it's pretty special yep well brian we at outdoors is larry ray uh we've got your phone number now so we're going to be following you and you'll be back on with us sometime and i will see you at the classic for sure um have a great day and i hope you find uh uh like what you see when you get to Grand Lake next week. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. All right. Take care. All right. It's time for another break here on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and we got Boom Boom coming up next. (laughs) 